Hey guys, and welcome back to Star Fox Adventures. In the last part, we actually ended up haggling a bit with the shopkeep in order to get some of the more fuel cells to get here to Dragon Rock. We also met that one completely normal NPC that apparently is a character, and he was the gatekeeper. And now we're here, because uh, his friends are also enslaved, and we have to help him free all of them, so that way we can find out where the last spellstone is. If you know how the Spellstone game usually works, it's with the boss. So, the area itself... I honestly kind of like some parts of it, but this area is also home to, in my opinion, the worst room in the entire game. I can't wait! But, before we can do anything, before we get to that, we gotta do some barrel puzzles quick. AKA picking up a barrel and walking when the game wants you to walk. I'll say this, I actually do like some of the things we do in Dragon Rock because it is kind of a welcome change of pace from what we usually do. I know we're actually doing a puzzle, a uh, puzzle, <laughs> a barrel puzzle right here. <laughs> but some of the things we do actually, I do think is pretty charming. And if it was executed a little better, I would even say I actually liked it. But they're not, so you won't. And they're, they're okay. But I will say, after everything else I've gone through, I do actually think the next thing we're going to do is pretty neat. Even if it's short-lived. I can't wait, because neatness in Star Fox Adventures has been... Minimal? <laughs> I love that Fox has that role, but he just can't avoid that no matter what. You just have to wait, but uh, Fox McCloud is not a waiting man. I wonder how many of Fox's problems could be solved if he could just carry something below his head. <laughs> or if he could just crawl. And just push it along the ground. <laughs> this area is home to these four turrets that have these barriers, and according to the characters, this is one of the major things that's holding them back. Like, that's why they can't resist, because those turrets are kicking their ass. Done well to find me, but there are others. Yeah, I know. Your Thorntail <laughs> friend told me all about it. I, I, I don't know his name, his safety, but... but the high top is not so fortunate. Together, we can free him. No, oh, I'm not paid enough for this. <laughs> okay, I'm not okay. paid enough for this. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Fox. You're not paid at all. But also, can you wait to say that until after you freed everybody? All right, fucking asshole. Generator, hidden somewhere nearby. <laughs> oh my god, I saved one Earthwalker. <laughs> Paycheck. So what do you expect me to use? This? Of course not. This. Now get on my what? back. What? Let's what? Did he just, did he barf something and we didn't see it? <laughs> what did he use? <laughs> Uh, what our Earthwalker friend here means is his horn. Oh. But I'm glad you both had different reactions. Because <laughs> I thought the same thing. I was like, did he give me something? No, he just means his horn. No, this snaps his neck. <laughs> yeah, the way he was like forcibly throwing himself. What if he actually just watch this, Fox? <laughs> oh, Lord. So, with uh, our Earthwalker friend here, because they don't name any of these guys, we have to actually go around the area and crack open these little green parts. These are the actual generators that's providing the shields for the turrets that we have to take out. Two of them are pretty close by. The third one here is actually right where... It's not too far from where we actually got on him. Also, if you noticed, when I actually climbed on our Earthwalker friend, I wasn't even on the platform, but because of Rare's context-sensitive button thing, I was able to just have Fox phase through it and just have the cutscene play anyway. That's some speedrunning strats, Yoshi. Oh yeah, I uh, can't wait to speedrun this game. I think you can. Look, it took me ten seconds to put it back in the case and onto my shelf. <laughs> <laughs> New record. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could even say that. Look, I turned off the console. So, once you clear out all four of them, you no longer have a use for your Earthwalker friend. He actually controls pretty well. 
but he does only have that one move, so once the novelty wears off, it wears off. The thing with the generators, because you can only see the green bit peeking out from under the rock, it almost made it seem like this whole area is artificial. And like you were just seeing the artifice where it was breaking apart. Yeah, I I agree. I mean, partially I think it's kind of interesting, but at the same time, because of how samey a lot of this small area actually looks, it was kind of hard to find where some of them are. <laughs> So, if you recall, when I brought it up earlier, during when we were in the Walled City, about our blaster here, and how we were going to be doing that a lot, this area is basically the master course of the blaster usage, I believe. The master blaster course? Yes. If you weren't tired of the blaster just yet, oh, don't you worry, this level is going to make you a pro. Like you say, this level will make you tired of the blaster. Oh, it will, but I didn't. I wanted to say it in a nicer way. Why? <laughs> Why? Part 11. We passed the hump of, you don't like this game anymore. Oh no, I, I'm not hiding the fact that I don't like this game. I actually don't like it quite a lot, in fact. It's just, hey, you know this one component of the game? I don't like it all that much. Surprise. <laughs> okay, now pay close attention to his animations. We've been missing this. It's fast forward. You're right. <laughs> yeah, it looks. It does look more like a fast forwarded animation rather than a jiggle, actual jiggle. If you see his fur effects, they even go crazy. I don't have a voice. Help! Good. He's signing with his tongue. So this room, this is the worst room in the game. See, we have to hit these four switches because our friend here is tied up. And every time you hit one of these switches, you're timed. So you have a few seconds to actually hit all of the switches in succession, because if you don't, then uh, the wire starts to appear again over a previous switch, like you saw on the right. And because your stupid dinosaur friend is slamming his hooves onto the ground, he shakes the screen. <laughs> so on top of me trying to control the reticle, and I'm being timed, and the screen shakes when he stomps, and I'm trying to angle the goddamn control stick, this makes this room a nightmare. My face is about to explode from watching this. You need to help me escape, wink. <laughs> is your face still intact, Yoshi? I just want to make sure of this. It's still there. But good lord, watching this, I'll just tell you guys right now, this took me over nine real life minutes to complete. <laughs> I'm gonna get you! <laughs> Fox throws the staff aside. Come here, you piece of shit! Quit jumping! <laughs> Literally, stop moving! I got it! I got it! You need to help me out. I didn't know you were gonna shoot at me. <laughs> what did you want me to do? Hug you? Why is he jumping anyway? Like, what's the purpose? He's trying to shake free from the shackles, you know, to make it, you know, that little extra detail to make it look like he's trying to, but he's just making it worse. He just slammed his chin on a platform, and he passes out. And he killed himself. Good job. What? What is he? That's less enough force to break the rings, and more just how cat's tails wrap around you when they're cuddling you. <laughs> I guess we're ready to go. Oh, so he has a voice now, actually. We're crossing the plain. You shaved my voice, Fox. Good shit. Bye. <laughs> it sounded like you said you shaved, shaved my <laughs> voice. <laughs> you tore my throat. Time to start talking. Shaved as in rescued. Okay, so uh, if you thought that was uh, good, Special. you're wrong. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not sugarcoating it. Fuck it, that was awful. So <laughs> this next part is even worse. Actually, no, it's not as worse. But it's an auto scroller. They kick in the Star Fox music at this point, and what you have to do is just shoot at the little. I'm assuming little ship missiles. I can't actually make out what they are, but they're aiming for you. 
this uh, auto-scrolling session goes on for about, I want to say, three minutes or so. Despite what my magic meter currently says, you have infinite blaster. So just keep hammering the A button. I skip ahead <laughs> because by this point, like, we you kind of get it. it. Yeah. Oh my god, look at the bolt! I got hit once there, but it hit my dragon friend, so I'm fine with that. And this is why we freed our dragon buddy here. Ow. <laughs> Bonk. Splat. It's up to you guys now. You'll figure it out. This is why Jacob and I appreciate the control options in Star Fox Assault. Because we have quite a few of those otter scroller cannon levels, and they're actually really fun and easy to do. Yeah. And I feel like most people don't know that those control options exist, but we'll get to those in the Star Fox Assault Let's Play. Hang on, boys. Let's wait for this game to die first before we talk about <laughs> But it's so much better. But our hands are around its throat. <laughs> okay, you know what? You do raise some solid points. Here, I'm going to have Prince Tricky shoot fire. It's not gonna work out too well, but the fire is supposed to help our caged friend here. Who may look slightly familiar, and I'll just say, no, he doesn't look very different from other Cloud Runners, but this one in particular is special. That's where you belong! <laughs> okay, so, this isn't a room, but this is the second worst area of the game. We already had our fun with trying to hit those four switches in time. Well, now you have to do time switches with an explosive barrel, and you have to make sure that Prince Tricky sits on the switch there, so that way the machine can actually move. And while he's on that switch, you have to make sure that you can actually aim and target all the switches in time before the fire destroys the explosive barrels. You also need to get rid of these two guys, because you won't be able to actually proceed. Uh... Now I'm convinced I lied to myself. How did I be- I, I mean, I, I was a dumbass kid. I'm sure I had the patience to finish this. But I don't remember it. And I feel like I would remember something I wouldn't enjoy like this. I kind of thought the same thing, but I'm thinking for me, it's... I wasn't used to, like, very good controls back in the day. Or, like, maybe it's because I got older and now that I'm playing this again, the control stick is just a nightmare for me. I like to think that I'm chalking it up to that, but I'm not actually too sure. But I do remember completing this game. Also, if you saw, I'm trying to get Tricky to sit on the Switch, and I told him stay, right? It's not moving. That's because he's right next to the goddamn button. God but he's <laughs> damn it, Tricky! <laughs> but he's not on the button. Stay. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's our Cloud Runner friend. Ow! I kicked my own ass! <laughs> I'll say this. There is a tip that does help. It's better to get closer to the switches than I currently am here. No, no, no! Ugh, ah, cock and ass. Eventually, after about seven minutes of attempts... There we go. Get the second one. Come on, come on, come on! Hey, there we go. So let's climb up the ladder and let's go ahead and finish this puzzle. Seems like you want to keep your meter full so you can do a small splash of blaster shots. And uh, the machine is not close enough to drop the barrel because Prince Tricky decided to follow me because I got too far away from him. Oh. Yeah. So after making him go back on the switch... Now, let's proceed to continue the puzzle. We have to guide this explosive barrel through a couple more fire spouts, and now we have to deal with wind currents. This... I hate this. I feel like I've played this when I have not. Because watching it is so draining as it is. Yeah, yeah. Let's line up the barrel just right. One good toss should do it. No. No! I don't... I, I don't feel right. Hold up. Not yet. Now we should throw it. Wait. <laughs> um... <laughs> well, I can't grab it, but I should probably try to do my best to guide it through the other side. 
son of a bitch. <laughs> I knew it. I knew what would happen. I knew it in my gut. I like, I like that stop there. It's like... <sighs> An additional seven minutes later, we get another explosive barrel. I back myself up properly this time. This might be the worst room. I may have to veto your decision. <laughs> it's not that... I, I was judging the other rooms based on how much time I spent here. Like, that little area, that was very partially my fault, but also the barrel just kind of went like, eh, I'm not gonna go forward after throwing it. I was a little too close. So, finally, after going through all of that, now we can help the Cloud Runner. Activating the switch starts making his cage swing from left to right. Is this a torture device? I... I... probably. So let's call Prince... Tricky over... There he is. <laughs> Here I come! You told me to stay, damn it! <laughs> that was like ten minutes ago. You got mad at me for moving last time. That's when I said I hate this game, by the way. That moment right there <laughs> that it ended as soon as... <laughs> like, just as it was about to touch the flames. <laughs> Did he say, this sucks? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Look out! Sounds like a line from like an arcade racing game. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. Oh, you set me on fire! Hey, but that was all I could do. Oh my God, it's this bird! Sharp cores? <laughs> Sharp claws. <laughs> A little Coach Z in that, but also, <laughs> it sounded like the last few lines was from a completely different recording session because they sound like they're in different compressions to me. I wonder. It did also look off sync. Was that... Like, was that how it was when you recorded it? It was like that when I recorded it, yeah. I don't think I've ever actually said it, but... The way I'm playing this game is not through my GameCube. It is through my modded Wii U that can play, a. Uh, GameCube titles, so because I actually own the game, I didn't feel bad about doing a backup thing. I know we got a comment about one of the cutscenes when it didn't actually play audio, and apparently that happens when it's emulated. So I would imagine I'm not too 100% sure if the reason why it's off sync, at least in that particular cutscene, is because of the emulation. Because sometimes it kind of syncs up just right anyways, or it, it seems like there are actual text delays in the game. The game ran at 60 FPS anyway, right? Yeah. Like, I never had slowdown, I never had any, like, game-breaking bugs or anything. What we're supposed to do is shoot the little towers over here. Your little Cloud Runner friend goes around through four corners. I skip ahead, because you, you already saw one on the scroller. You know what would be neat? If that part controlled more like Panzer Dragoon, which controls a lot like Star Fox 64. <laughs> oh, you mean how it would, like, it would make more sense if Fox had, like, some sort of, like, spaceship of sorts that's kind of sitting there that he could uh, use to shoot those with? It could have even still been the dragon. You mean if you could ride on the Cloud Runner and shoot, like some mechanic they had at the very beginning of the game when you were a crystal? Oh yeah! That would ostensibly come back later. R Ridley? <laughs> oh. He looked like, he legit looked like Ridley for a second. I wish, but no, this is, I think it said Dracor? Dracor? Keep in mind, Slippy or Peppy said that General Scales is using his evil forces to make super weapons. This is one of them, this dragon man with an arm cannon. That's pretty super. But uh, you see how like he's doing all of his attacks with not the laser cannon? I can't tell. There's too much heat waviness. In this scrolling section, boss, it's like a shmup, but not as good. Thankfully, we do have infinite ammo. 
and we have to just basically keep hammering the A button. Eventually, we're gonna run into a couple of fire uh, sprouts that we fire spire, bleh, fire spires that are currently trying to hit us. But some of them you can easily avoid by not actually doing anything. But there will be some switches for some of them that you do have to do in order to make sure you don't take damage. But by this point, you have so much health that I'm pretty sure you can just tank most of it and you'll be fine. Another cool thing is that, if you saw, we do have some Star Fox boxes that are currently just laying around. I never get a single one of them because they're just out of my reach. But they do provide health rings. Like right there, Star Fox crates. Oh, wow. It's like teasing you. Yeah, it's like, you know what you actually want, but how about this? This guy looks kind of cool. Yeah. But I get the sense, like, he was a nerdy jackass in school who got beat up by bullies a lot, and then General Scales came along and turned him evil. And now I <laughs> fuck! <laughs> <laughs> You're a giant nerd in school, I see. Have you attempted drugs? No, wait, we had a whole <laughs> video on that one. Have you attempted to fuck? Ah, uh, uh, no. Ha! Damn it, he's right. Dives into the lava, out of shame. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, I'm taking a bath. It's true. Pterodactyl's like, wait, wait, I didn't agree to this. Eventually, we cut ahead. I ended up shooting him with, like, from a very long distance, and that ended him. Oh my god, this is gruesome. Sucks for that guy. But when you're Fox McCloud, you don't give a <laughs> shit. I have a bigger body count than whatever you're worth. Fox, you did it! <laughs> you got the last spellstone! Not bad! Not bad at all! What the that spellstone back to the ocean force point. It's all of our friends that me, we met in the last five minutes. We like yeah, we see. have Cloud Runner, okay, Earth guys, Walker, and Big Dinosaur. Thanks again, Fox. I hate them all, except for the Cloud Runner, because he was in the beginning of the game and I he made me smile at that time, but not now. <laughs> Thanks again, Fox! <laughs> <laughs> I like that guy because he made me smile once at some point. <laughs> First impressions are important. <laughs> General Scales can't do anything about it. <laughs> so now that we have our spellstone, let's go back to Lightfoot Village really quick. I can't see shit. <laughs> what? What? I'm really good at hiding. What? Well, that was that. Our little Lightfoot friend there hits the tree in an order that I myself actually didn't remember because I didn't care. <laughs> Basically, you do that so that way you can go back to Lightfoot Village. But because I don't want to do that, I just didn't bother. Yeah, we had a couple questions asking if you're going to do a Lightfoot children thing. I have no idea what that is. So, yes. It's not important. This isn't a completionist LP. We've gone over this. That would require sticking with this game. Yeah, I should... I'm pretty sure I said it at the beginning, but this isn't a 100% Star Fox Adventures run. Also, I've never heard of that until the moment of this recording. What is that? Apparently, there are Lightfoot babies. At some point. Oh, well, I don't like the Lightfoots in general, so I'm not doing this. <laughs> the only thing that'll make it worse is to have children. <laughs> Shoot the dinosaur over there. I'd love to. I also hate to say this, but I already recorded all the gameplay footage, so I won't be doing that, I'm afraid. You recorded the footage, burned your Wii U, and ate the game. Like, there's no going back now. I'm not burning. Okay, well, I only burned my Wii U slightly, but I got it back. It overheated, and you did nothing about it. 
You were like, no, you deserve this. <laughs> I like how you, you didn't deny the fact you ate the game. <laughs> Why would I correct you about that when that's a fact? And Yo Yoshi's like, no, guys, I don't hate the game. I ate the game. <laughs> <laughs> Credits roll early. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, Elizabeth. We actually needed to use that cannon to not only shoot down the boarded up walls of the Krizoa head, but also blow up this boulder because it actually gives us a staff upgrade. But this one's just primarily for our magic meter. Our usual adventure game logic of if you have to go out of your way to go get it and it's not required, it's more or less an optional sort of magic meter sort of buildups kind of there was a better way I could have phrased my entire sentence, but my point was... A power-up. A power... Yeah, thank you, Jacob. <laughs> my salvation. You're welcome. Bow to my salvation, attitude. <laughs> Look, I ate a copy of Star Fox Adventure, so I'm not feeling great. <laughs> you waited until this recording session. <laughs> that upgrade does feel like it would have been really helpful in that last section where you had to use the blaster a lot. Yeah... By this point, you're not really going to be doing much magic metering. So the last time we were in the o Ocean Force Point Temple, I kind of blazed through this puzzle. But uh, now, this time, I'm actually going to kind of show off what happens if you fuck it up. You have to step on the switches that are lit up and not the gray areas. Because uh, what happens if you step on the not lit ones? You're okay. Did you even get hurt? No, you don't take damage. The cutscene just goes dun 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 and Fox flies a few yards away. What a crock of ass. I want Fox McCloud to die. <laughs> I mean, I think that would be a little cruel if you didn't understand the puzzle the first time and you didn't have, like, a buffoon dad on you, so it just would have been dun dun dun. Fox McCloud died that day. No, oh, mate, we can't swim. I can. Shit face. God. Damn. We can't swim. Krasika <laughs> 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 yeah. you can't swim! <laughs> what are you eating? These mushrooms are a plague on this planet. Why are they growing in the middle of a castle? Oh, they grow everywhere because they're grub tubs. I mean, somebody had to make some kind of nourishment for Tricky. His parents aren't feeding him. He's like a panda. He's not getting any nutrition out of it, so he has to keep eating them. <laughs> That's why he burns through them so quickly. Well, the difference between him and pandas are is that pandas are cute. Not that much, honestly. Not too cute, but compared to this piece of <laughs> trash fire. Doran, I, I feel you, but I feel like you take every opportunity you can to shit on pandas. It's impressive how useless they are. <laughs> so much about them says they should be gone by now. <laughs> Except red pandas. Everything's great about them. Yeah, okay, I, I, I will love and adore red pandas. I will die on a cross for red pandas. There is no red panda slander here. Regular <laughs> pandas, who gives a shit? Their scientists can't even figure that out, but red pandas are another thing, okay? Pandas just sit around and don't fuck when they should. Red pandas actively try to get themselves killed by standing up and showing up their weak <laughs> spot, and that's somehow more adorable. <laughs> There's no red panda slandering, only red panda pandering. Red pandering. Plus, the red pandas are also endangered, and the regular pandas are too, but I feel like we can keep at least one. <laughs> at least one. Let's just replace all of them in Asia. <laughs> then we'll be done. I'm sure that won't have, like, any cultural problems whatsoever or anything. Or environmental with an invasive species. <laughs> oh, you're a, you're a scratch boy now. Sharp claw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch. <laughs> like, like, yeah. that's already funny enough on its own. I don't even have to elaborate. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, we needed that to stand on a switch, so that way we can activate uh, the path to this room. <laughs> 
You guys remember this room? The one with the uh, vomiting statues that we had to put out the torches with? I think so. I think we were talking about Pong at the time. So. Oh, yeah! <laughs> so we probably weren't paying attention. This is the second time we're in the- Okay, I'll say this. The Ocean Force Point Temple is not as interesting as the fire one because we always go off on a tangent. <laughs> yeah. Two for two. <laughs> here's, the, <laughs> here's the same puzzle, but this time it's actually worse because the statues have these little squares on the bottom of each one, and they're color-coded. Which means that now the statues have specific colored vomit that will only take out that specific torch. Yeah, that's why I don't drink anymore. <laughs> I know it's actually water, but it's funnier to say it's vomit. Like <laughs> that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, this actually does take... Honestly, the reticle itself is not the problem here. It's actually the speed of the damn thing, because it's... It, takes so long for the damn torches to actually move. You can see I even try to get like a different angle here because I can't. That being said, the reticle still doesn't help. But I made it in time. Slow down, Pew. You had zero, zero, seven seconds left. Honestly, I'm not proud of that. Look at my magic meter. It was full before <laughs> this. That's why you got the upgrade. <laughs> this is the real waste of your magic. Can you imagine if I didn't actually get the thing and I had to, like, do it again? Well, yeah, we saw what that happened earlier. <laughs> Multiple times throughout this video, actually. So, I think another reason why I'm just kind of indifferent towards the Ocean Force Point Temple is because... The Fire Volcano Temple, like, yeah, we did similar puzzles there, but at least we had a, like, we had, like, a, a couple of new puzzles. Here, we're doing the same exact puzzles, it's just that they're in slightly different configurations. That's stupid! Yeah, sure, it pissed me off that one room where I had to get tricky to sit on the, the switch so that way the platform could move left and right, and I was trying to, like, fire the blaster through the flame so I can light up the little gems. Yeah, sure, that sucked entirely, but at least it was different, at least it was something new. Here, I'm doing the same thing as last time I was here, but now I have to do a new configuration of this puzzle altogether, which I also get in one try, because all you have to do is stare at it and kind of oversee it. You'd be shocked. I'm really, 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 really bad at puzzles like this. Like in Pokemon Crystal, where you have to slide on the ice in, like, the cave, and you have to stop at certain rocks in order to get through. I am- it takes me forever every time, no matter how many times I play that game. You're spatially constipated. <laughs> sure, Thorn. <laughs> That's- <laughs> well, it's because these puzzles are always shit. Oh. There you go. I think I have some muscle memory for one part of Ice Cave, but I think it's always the second half that I'm just like, ah, oh, fuck, I forgot how to do this. Spatially constipated. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a very eloquent way of putting it in an accurate way. So is he, apparently. What the fuck was that? <laughs> well, that was one of our jellyfish friends, but he oh. glitched through the geometry because he wanted to hit us really badly. Okay, that, made, that makes sense. So after going through all of that, we're finally at the very last bit so we can drop off the spellstone. Now we just have to do one teeny last puzzle, but unfortunately I have to fight the reticle once more. Ugh. A puzzle in itself. And I also have to line up the camera just right. Based on your magic, looks like you have like one shot at this. I, I have a good three. Phew. In a Star Fox game, the shooting is the worst part. Uh, it looked like Fo the way that Fox was positioning himself looked like he was going to do some kind of like Shantae belly dance or something. <laughs> Turn into Falco. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Hey, yo, I got the moves. Where the fuck am I? Oh, hey, look, a gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's much better than a staff. Why don't we just use these all the time? Why am I wearing a tube top? Eh? <laughs> I should be shirtless. Look at these. <laughs> Ladies, 
Gentlemen, tricky. What? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. And with the final spell stone, we finally are able to put Dinosaur Planet back together. In a hologram. So it's probably not really happening. In a, yeah, in a projection. For all we know, the gods could totally be fucking lying to Fox right now and having a good laugh about it. That means the game is over and the last episode is actually just a bunch of dancing, right? Uh-huh. It's just a dance party. Great. Great. <laughs> That's going to be hard to commentate, but at least the game's over. Unfortunately, Star Fox Adventure says no, Jacob. His face. Oh yeah. Oh come on. And why didn't you, Slippy? I mean, tricky. Tricky. <laughs> Sorry, I bought. I literally bought an action figure of Slippy at Target today. Okay, Slippy's on the mind, I guess. Slippy opens up his hologram. You got something you want to fucking say to me, Fox? <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry. It was a slip of the tongue. I, I... It was a what, Fox? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry I'm slipping up so much. I will buy you a birthday cake, okay? I will buy you your action figure. It's on clearance at Target, and it, the box is like half open, and I, it's $6. Call well, if you need me, oh, damn it. <laughs> Please need me, Fox! Uh, I, we're breaking up! No, you're not! I'm listening to you! <laughs> he throws his wrist <laughs> across the, <laughs> the ocean. Crunch, 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 I'm breaking up! <laughs> well, shit, I can't understand him anymore. Some... <laughs> <laughs> made a mistake <laughs> I have to go back in the ocean there I let you speak are you satisfied oh my god I'm dizzy <laughs> have you supported the capitalist ghost dinosaur yet <laughs> what the fuck did you just say to me hail me <laughs> 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 I'm looking forward to cleaning out that last bit because, like, that was pure distortion over Discord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I really, God, I really laughed all over that. Okay, so we went to the <laughs> Thorn Tail Hollow, and the Queen Earthwalker's like, We need the Krizoa spirits. And Fox realizes, Oh, so there is a point. It's not just so I can get a girlfriend. I mean, so we can put the planet back together. Something to get a girlfriend, I mean, hot lamp. <laughs> <laughs> Tricky also mentioned like oh yeah I could have told you that Fox while we were in the walled city so instead of like kicking him over the railing and watching him fall we now actually have to go get the last two Krizoa spirits and uh, we have to go back to the walled city where uh, Tricky's pops is our next part is actually going to conclude the game my brain is in such a mix of it's about goddamn time and oh I'm gonna miss it yeah what you're going to miss is us, and we'll be here. We're going to be oh. doing other shit. <laughs> really? Uh, oh, I thought you guys were just fucking off after we're done. Oh, man, then yeah, fuck this game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Star Fox Adventures, the, the swan song let's play of the stride. Wait, no. Fuck Twilight Princess HD, which we're also recording at the same time, <laughs> with the intent to release it later. Yeah, I've already recorded one and a half Doom Let's Plays. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna miss this game. <laughs> we can talk about Falco some other time. We've got more Star Fox happening, and he's actually in them. <laughs> you don't need to make excuses for Star Fox Adventures. <gasps> You're like the people who say what Blizzard actually meant. <laughs> oh boy so yeah uh, the next Star Fox part 
can you boys think of us? How could we possibly end this game in the next part? Because there's a kind of a lot of loose ends, don't you think? Kind of a couple things that haven't been really touched upon and things we haven't really wrapped up. I'm sure there are, but I've forgotten slash ignored them. That's literally exactly what I was going to say. So, <laughs> All right, cool. So we can end the conversation there. But uh, next time, we're going to conclude the adventure. I hurt my hand, but <laughs> in a different way. <laughs> I mean, that's that. We can conclude the adventure. Oh, my Wii U has become sentient and is angry at me. <laughs> you hacked me to play this? And Skies of Arcadia. Okay. You get a pass. And Star Fox Assault, because I actually wanted to play that really badly after this. Alright, so that evens out to about a B, B plus. Yeah. <laughs> this is like a D at best. <laughs> D plus on a good day. Was this a good day? No, 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 no. This, this was the same it's a D. day. It's a D, Yoshi. It's a D. D for dinosaurs. So <laughs> Everybody kill the dino tank. <laughs> I did not know that the last chorus of Walk the Dinosaurs, everybody kill the dinosaur. Really? So everybody get ready. Everybody kill adventures. <laughs> what rhymes with adventures? Um, dentures. <laughs> <laughs> Star Fox Adventures. Falco just bought some dentures. <laughs> See, he ain't got why? no fucking teeth. <laughs> hey, yo, why you gotta slay the Falco and spill his stark secrets to the internet? Oh, God. It's like that ostrich from that one episode of the Rugrats when he gets someone's dentures. Remember? Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> I vaguely remember that, but I'm not surprised that you brought up a Rugrats reference at the same time. Oh my god. We went insane during the last few minutes of this one. <laughs> yeah. Get in the ship and go peace out. Everybody ditch that Fox McCloud. <laughs> what did I do? Nothing for seven years. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nothing for eight years, actually. Wait. It's been a year and you haven't done shit. I was doing stuff. I looked at the space unemployment page for like a minute. I almost signed up for like a radio gig. <laughs> Getting a little too real into my life. I think we need to end here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it was real for me when they first brought up unemployment. I've been on it a few times. <laughs> But yeah, we can end it. No, it's gone on long enough. It's gone too long.